Hello and welcome to Steve's Soft Drink Shack. On today's episode, we're checking out a soft drink imported from Japan. It's Marble Pop. So here we are with Marble Pop. This is a product of Japan, imported by Wismatak Asian Foods Incorporated in Burnaby, British Columbia. While the bottle says it's an original carbonated drink, my research tells me that it's actually a Ramune. Ramune was invented by British pharmacist Alexander Cameron Sims in 1884 in Kobe, Japan. The drink was a kind of carbonated lemonade. The name Ramune comes from a Japanese reinterpretation of the English word lemonade. I can't tell exactly what Japanese brand Marble Pop is a rebranding of. I'm assuming that's the case here. Wismatak sells Shirakiku brand Ramune. Comparing this bottle with the Shirakiku Ramune bottle makes me think that they're the same product. So, why use the Marble Pop branding and why call it Marble Pop in the first place? Well, that's because it comes in a very interesting bottle called a cod bottle. A cod bottle, which was invented by English soda manufacturer Hiram Cod in 1872, uses a combination of a tapered neck, rubber stopper, and a glass marble to seal the bottle. Cod bottles became very popular in Asia and Europe uh, when they were invented. They were eventually supplanted by the crown cork cap, or traditional bottle cap as we know it, which was invented in 1892. Let's open up a bottle of marble pop, and uh, I'll try to show you how this interesting cod bottle works. First I'll have to remove this plastic here. Now at the top, under this plastic, you'll see this little plastic doodad here. It's actually made of two parts. You have a part that kind of resembles um, almost like a bottle cap. And then in the middle you have this plunger. When I push down here, this middle part's actually going to just pop right out of the holder and you'll have that plunger. So at the top, this isn't a, a screw cap, although it might look like it from the angle that you're seeing it now. If I were to tilt it towards you, you would see there's actually a hole in the center here and that what you're seeing there is actually a glass marble. The pressure in the bottle from the carbonated beverage is actually forcing the marble up and out of the uh, bottle. If it could, it would pop right out of that hole. But the hole's too small. Uh, the marble creates a seal on the opening as it's trying to force its way out. If you were to push the marble down into the bottle, pressurized gas in the bottle will actually be able to escape from around the outside of the marble. And then the bottle will effectively be open. This little recess here on the bottle, that's actually used to prevent the marble from being able to drop uh, down into this chamber proper. The marble will actually stay in this reservoir. Let's put our plunger here and open her up. It's live, folks. I've never done this before. All right, so now you see we have a glass marble that's actually dropped down into the recess here. Let's pour some out into our glass. The marble's actually created a seal again. That's what this little groove is for. If you put the marble this way, let those grooves hold it, you can now freely pour out your drink. Let's give this marble pop a try. I've never tried a Ramune before. In fact, I never heard of it before doing the research for this video. I didn't even find this myself. This was a gift from my friend Todd. Uh, he found it at one of the local grocery stores. I don't think it was in like the Asian section or anything like that. I think it was just with the pop. I smell an almost bubble gummy kind of a, kind of a smell. It's making me think almost of iron brew, if that means anything to you. 
it's very clear though. It doesn't really have a, uh, a color to it or any sort of particulate matter or anything like that. I'm getting a kind of candy flavor, a bit like that bubble gum. There's a tang to it. Maybe that's where the citrus is coming into play, but I can't say this one particularly tastes like lemon or lime. Maybe this is a bubble gum ramune that they've imported. I can't really tell. It doesn't really tell me on the bottle. It's not overly sweet. It's reasonably carbonated. It's not super strong, but like you definitely can appreciate that it's a pop. It's not, uh, it's not flat. Hmm. Overall, I'd say it's not particularly strongly flavored. It's rather bland. I can't say I'm a huge fan of it. It's not bad, but it's not particularly good either. I just think it's really interesting that they still package it in a cod bottle. We don't really do that anywhere in the West, though apparently they're still uh, commonly used in India as well. This is the first time I've actually seen one, although I've heard of them before. Anyway, thanks for checking out this episode. Uh, have a good one.